So we have already seen one question on eigenvalues and eigenvectors. This is the second question on eigenvalues. So let's see. Find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of cos theta minus sin theta sin theta and cos theta. Let's see the characteristic equation first. This is a minus lambda times of i determinant equal to 0. So, can we do this directly? Yes, because i is identity matrix which will have only existence at the diagonal elements. So, cos theta, so cos theta minus lambda, cos theta, cos theta minus lambda. Other elements will remain as, as such as whatever it was. So cos theta minus lambda minus sin theta remains as it is. Sin theta remains as it is. Cos theta minus lambda equal to 0. So the equation which we are get getting is cos theta minus lambda square minus and minus plus sin square theta equal to 0. What are the elements which we are going to get from here? It will be cos square theta, lambda square theta and minus 2 cos lambda theta. So cos square theta and sin square theta will become 1. So I am directly writing the equation will become lambda square minus 2 lambda cos theta plus 1 equal to 0. This is the characteristic equation. This is the second order polynomial equation in terms of uh, lambda, second order equation in terms of lambda, which will be the characteristic equation, and uh, which will like we can see this a is 2 cross 2, so this is also of order 2. We can possibly have uh, one repeated roots or two different roots, right? So let's solve this. lambda square minus 2 lambda cos theta plus 1 equal to 0. So second uh, second order quadratic equation will have the solution minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. We know this. So minus b is nothing but minus of minus 2 cos theta that becomes 2 cos theta. So the roots are 2 cos theta plus and minus under root of b square. What is b square? It is 2 cos square. So 2 cos theta square that is 4 cos square theta minus 4 ac. So minus 4 into 1 by 2a a is equal to 1. So 2. So this if, if we take 4 common we will be having cos square theta minus 1 which will be minus sin theta and minus sin square theta. So the solution is going to be the roots are going to be cos theta plus n minus j sin theta. These are complex conjugate in form of complex conjugate we get the complex eigenvalues here. Right and for corresponding eigenvalues will try to find the eigenvector. So let's say for lambda equal to cos theta plus j sin theta. So in the equation eigenvalue problem equation e minus lambda i times of x equal to 0 will get let's put minus lambda times of i where well, 
here we have to put cos theta minus g sin theta or i sin theta anything g i are all same so if i put cos theta minus we are considering cos theta plus i sin theta the another element is minus sin theta as it is this is sin theta and this is cos theta minus cos theta plus i sin theta times of x1 x2 equal to 0 0 so cos theta cos theta gets cancelled here and here both and this becomes minus of i sin theta minus of i sin theta this is sin theta minus sin theta right so we will get the equation becomes minus i sin theta minus sin theta sin theta and uh, minus i sin theta times of x1 x2 equal to 0 0 that is minus i x1 times of sin theta minus x2 times of sin theta equal to 0 and x1 times of sin theta and minus i times of x2 sin theta equal to 0. What if we take minus i common here? If we take minus i common, this will become x1 sin theta and this will become minus i x2 sin theta. Why? Because i square is equal to minus 1. Right? So this becomes, this gives the relation if you want you can change this we can take minus i common so that we can relate these equations this becomes x1 sin theta and uh, minus common and i common so this is minus i x2 sin theta equal to 0 right and this this remains as it is so from these two equations we can say that the solution is going to be x2 is equal to minus j times of x1 why we can take sin theta common outside from this equation and this equation both so you'll see the relation is x2 is equal to minus j times of x1 otherwise we can also say x1 is equal to minus j times of x2 right so taking sin theta outside we will have x1 is equal to j times of x2 this is same as x1 is equal to i times of x2 and if you multiply uh, let's say minus i both sides this will become minus i times of x1 and this minus and minus i becomes x2 so any of this is okay this is also fine this is also fine the difference is of the complex number i or minus i anything so the eigenvector which you are getting here is you can write it in the form of let's say um, x1 and minus i x1 so this is nothing but k times of 1 minus i you can also write it in the form of and e1 equal to i times of x2 and x2 so this is k times of i and 1 
these and these are all same they are not different why because if you multiply i if this k is i this will become i and then my i of i becomes minus 1 and minus 1 into minus becomes 1 so these two eigenvectors are same they are not different it is just the representation in terms of complex number i so it is same it is not different similarly for lambda equal to cos theta minus i sin theta the eigenvalue problem a minus lambda times of i x equal to 0 becomes it was cos theta so cos theta minus cos theta minus i sin theta this is minus sin theta already this is sin theta already this will also be cos theta minus cos theta minus i sin theta times of x1 x2 equal to 0 0 so this becomes cos theta cos theta cancels minus minus i sin theta minus sin theta sin theta and plus i sin theta I am writing the equations here. This is i x1 sin theta minus x2 sin theta equal to 0 and second one is x1 sin theta plus i x2 sin theta equal to 0. Again, they will get the same solution. Same in the sense, both the equations will get the same equations. So, uh, what you can do is like try to take i common, take i outside this. So, this will become x1 sin theta, and from here, if you are taking uh, i common from minus 1, you will be left with i, right? Minus 1 is equal to i square. So, if you are taking i common, you will be left with only. Uh, if you are taking i com uh, minus 1, if you are taking i common, you will be left with i. This is minus. So, if you want, I am writing this equation once again. Taking i common, this will become x1 sin theta. And from minus 1, if you are taking uh, minus 1 i common, this gives i x2 sin theta equal to 0. So, now these two equations are almost same, exactly same. In fact, taking sin theta outside, we can say x1 becomes minus i x2. Any other relation we can say? Yes, of course. Check from this. If we take sin theta, we can convert this equation also in this form. So if we take uh, sin theta common, we'll get x2 is equal to also x2 is equal to i times of x1 just check it multiply with my uh, with i let's say i so i and i so i and i will become minus 1 minus 1 into minus will become 1 so x2 becomes i times of x1 so the eigenvector we can have is let's say 2 we can either have it as uh, minus i x2 and x2 which can be written as taking x2 common k times of minus i and 1 also it can be written as like if in terms of x1 x1 i x1 so this can be written as k times of 1 and i just check it multiply this eigenvector with i so minus i into i gives you 
1 and 1 into i gives you 1. So these are same, they are not different. Again, the relation, the common factor here is k, maybe ki, anything like that. Right? So we are getting the same for two different eigenvalues, cos theta plus i sin theta, we are getting one eigenvector and for cos theta minus i sin theta, we are getting another eigenvector. Right? So in short, this is the eigenvector or maybe this one for this eigenvalue and then for this eigenvalue these two eigenvectors are same they are not different these two eigenvectors are same 